Yeah? And I'm a happy KJ. I thought the thought of having to improve your grade would make you delighted. Actually, he doesn't have any idea if you want to do... Oh, ah, yeah, well, that's why you can see me on Friday, and we can talk about it. Okay. Because, you know, what I did, I just, uh, because... Even I didn't know what to do in the interphone. That's I funny, I love the way you say even. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, not even I, Fahad, knew what to do. <laughs> Therefore, no, everybody was screwed. No, no, I used it because I did that calculation. Yes, yes, yes. yes. We, in that way, in that we, way. we can talk individually on Friday. Because no, no. each person will have their own issues. Yeah. Okay. Some people will have more issues than others. Everybody will have different issues. Some people they don't know what their issues. And some people don't even know what their issues are. Yes, these are the it's biggest like problems. I yeah. know <laughs> uh, you know what your issues are. I think <laughs> forgetfulness. <laughs> yeah. <it's one. laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Um, is the next one volume? Yeah. Okay. So it's this one's not not crazy difficult. Um, can we see? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Attacking. Can you adjust the focus? It's a little blurry. I think. No. No. Uh, no the front. The uh, well, yeah, okay. Hey, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, volume. So, uh, when we have um, a function uh, like this, for example, and here is A, and here is B, uh, we can know what the area is. What's the formula for the area here? Integration. Integration. A to B. A to B. Fx, yeah? This is the area. And you know this because you learnt it in uh, semester one, mm -hmm. right? Okay? Yeah. yeah. So, can we use integration to get volume? And the answer is yes, of course, but how do we do that? Can I scroll down a bit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah? Okay. So, the... the proof, so to speak. What we're going to do is we're going to have uh, some kind of curve like this and we're going to um, rotate it mm -hmm. around the axis. So then it makes a kind of three-dimensional shape. Do you get what's happening here? Yeah. So we spin it around the axis to make a volume. Yeah, okay. yeah so this is X and this is Y. Is the name? Huh? No. no? Um, we get the idea of what's happening? Yes. Yeah. So, if you look at each piece, if I call this piece uh, delta x, and I just take a thin slice of it, what type of shape would it be? Does anyone know? It's like a cylinder, very good. So, this, this little piece here will look like a slice of uh, a thin cylinder. This is really hard to draw, but mm -hmm. when you're a picture it like um, you rotate it around and then you slice it up like a cake. Like a, you know, like a salami. Like a salami, yes, okay, yeah. You spin it around, you have a piece of salami and you slice it up. Oh. Each slice is what type of shape? It's a cylinder, a very, very short cylinder. Yeah? If it's like a, it, 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 can, it won't be the, you know, like a complete circle, it's going to be like this. No, no, it'll be a complete... If we just, yeah, it's like... No, it will be. We have to use our imagination. So if we have a, a curve and we rotate around the x-axis, we make a solid. Yeah. So if we had a flat line and we rotate it around it, we make a salami shape. In this one, if we had a curve, and we rotate it around, it would be kind of like a vase. Yeah, it would bulge in at the center, you can almost hold it. Um, anyway, we slice it up, and then each slice is like a salami slice. Uh, what is the height of this cylinder? Well, the height is this part here, which we said is delta x. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And what's the radius now? The, uh, the length of the y, y, y. The y value, very good. So that is just like f of x. So what is the volume, the delta, the small volume here? Uh, it will be pi uh, r squared h, which in this case would be pi um, fx squared 
yes. delta x. That's the delta v. Yeah. Or if you want, delta v over delta x is pi fx squared. If the delta x is really, really, really small, it becomes a dx. So then this can be, if you make the slice small enough, this becomes a dv dx equals pi f of x squared. Now, I don't want the derivative of the volume. What do I want? Mm. The volume. So how can I go from a derivative to the original? Integrate. So then we end up with our formula. The volume is pi integrate from a to b f of x squared dx. So the formula is very similar to the area formula, except for two differences. What are those differences? Well, you have a pi constant in the front, and the function is squared. Okay, so you definitely need this formula. Okay. Actually, let me just check my battery power here. Uh, I'm doing okay. Yeah, uh, well, it uh, should be, should be fine. Okay. Uh, right now, this formula has one big advantage over the formula for area, because there's a square on the function. It's impossible to be negative. You will never get a negative answer here for volume. You should not get a negative answer. If you get a negative answer, you've made a mistake. The good news is it means we don't have to adjust for any negative part of the graph, which is great. So, for example, if you had a graph that goes um, like this, we don't have to split it into two parts. This is great news. Um, it just means we have to do one integration. By the way, if I rotate this graph, what type of shape would it make? <laughs> yeah, like a peanut. Yeah. Can you visualize that? You know what a peanut is, don't you? No, no, a peanut. Peanut. The little nut with two oh, parts. Oh, nuts, yeah. Yeah. So this, if we rotate this, it will look like a peanut. Yeah. Uh, what about if I rotate uh, this one? I get a cylinder, complete. complete cylinder. What about if I rotate, <coughs> whoa. What about if I rotate uh, this? Cone. 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 Yeah. What about if I um, rotate something like this shape? Sphere. Sphere. Yeah? yeah. Okay, so let's look at our first example. So I want to do an example where we can know the answer to prove that this works to ourselves, to convince ourselves. So for example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line that goes from 0, 0, uh, and we'll stop it at, um, let's see, 4, 1. Now if I rotate this, what shape do I get? What shape do I get? A cone. Uh, no, you don't need to write, wait, listen, listen, what I'm going to write next, you don't need to write down. Mm -hmm. So what is the height of this cone? Four. Four. And the radius? Mm. One. Four. If you imagine it being rotated, this is a one and this is a four. So what's the vo volume of a cone? Mm. What? Yeah. What's the volume? It's one third... Pi or cubed? Uh, no. no. Squared. Squared. No. No cubed. No. No squared. No is cubed. Is cubed. Pa squared. Cubed. Squared. H. Volume mm. of what? Of a cone. Oh, cone. Okay. No, it is. If I had, if I had, you don't need to check. I'm 100% sure. Yes, it's yes, yes. Yeah. One third of it is. Yes. 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 Uh, now, um, here you would get one third pi. What's the or? 1 squared is 1, and the height? 4. four. So the answer mm. should be, no, don't write this part down. The answer should be 4 over 3 pi. So the answer should be around about 4 units okay. uh, cubed. 
Right, so let's, let's do it properly now. Right, what am I missing here? What do I need to do first? What do I not have that I need? F of x. Yeah, the function. What type of graph is this? Uh, linear. Linear. So let's get slope first. So we can start now. So m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So the slope is 1 over 4. y equals mx plus c. If I put 0, 0 into this, what do I get for c? 0. 0. So y equals a quarter x. So I have my function, fx equals a quarter x. So that's like step one, is get the fx if we don't know it. Proceed. Okay. Next step is to calculate the volume by using the formula. Uh, pi. Now, what are the limits here? Where do I start? Zero. Zero. And where do I finish? Four. Four. So it's zero to four. F of x squared dx. So that's 0 to 4, a quarter x squared dx. Yep. So that's pi, 0 to 4, 1 over 16 x squared dx. So when I integrate, what do I get? Well, it'll be pi over 16 x cubed over 3. 4 and 0. So if I put the 4 in, uh, I get pi over 16, 4 cubed over 3 minus 0 cubed over 3. So that's 60, 64 over 16. No, or then there's a 3. That's 64 pi over 48. Is it? I think I did something wrong there. 1632, 64, 16, 30, 30, and 48. Is that right? I feel like something went wrong here. 64, um, square It is? Okay, so then this is 32 over 24 pi, which is 16 over... 12, which is um, 8 over 6, huh, which is 4 over 3 pi. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where do you get the, the cube from? Cube Integration! <laughs> don't freak me out, please. You know this, don't you? Don't you? Please say yes. Yeah, I know. Okay, good. I'm going to say no. I'm so glad I have no classes next week. So glad. <laughs> like I said, if you think you're happy next week that you don't have classes, I promise you I'm happier. Are you going to go on holiday? No, I'm going to laze around and do nothing. I don't know, I might, I might play a bit of my Euro truck game or something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. My truck game I like to play. Truck game. Did you play American truck? No! <laughs> I don't think it's any different. I think it's just the same thing. Do you have GPA? GPA? Yeah. Uh, do I have a what? GPA. GPA 5. What? what, what? GTA, GTA 5, yeah? No, I don't have any GTAs. I don't like GTAs. Why? Why? Stupid game. No. It's a stupid game for stupid people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Drive around. Call of Duty. Call of Duty, the last one I played was a long time ago. Call of Duty 2, I think. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blast from the past, Grandpa. <laughs> uh, I, thought, I thought it was good. But then, I don't know, I don't like where it is now. It's kind of like modern warfare stuff. Like boring. Call of Duty 2 was World War 2. Interesting. Interesting, but modern warfare... 
Is, or is it based in the future now, actually, or is that something else? Mm. Is Call of Duty still in the present, or are they gone into the future now? They were in the future before, <laughs> now they came back in this. I don't know. I uh, think it's uh, close future. Huh? Close future. Close future, yeah, okay. Yeah, close future. Yeah. Can it fun if you play online? Near enough to be realistic? Mm. Yeah. Like, yeah. five years in the future? Robotics kind of stuff, so probably. We got robots in it? Mm-hmm. Okay, not that, not that near, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's have a look at another example here. So I'll give you one to try. Uh, what I want you to try is uh, this one here. So here is the curve, and this time I give you the fx. I say fx equals minus x squared plus. Um, and what I want you to do is rotate this shape and you're going to make kind of like a football shape here American football shape so uh, or, or fake football as I prefer to call it so I want the uh, volume here, please. What is A and B? I didn't tell you on purpose. You need to find it yourself. <laughs> it's, yes, you. Yes, you personally. <laughs> yes, yes. Got an answer yet? Clearly.
This is taking its time. Are we going to run for you? Get in there. Yes. Did you I'm say you don't want to? No, I'm not telling the designer. equal to zero to get the a and the b so we have minus x squared plus 2x equals zero so we have x minus x plus 2 equals zero so we have x equals zero or two so did you get zero and two did you get zero and two yes so next now the volume will be pi integrate from 0 to 2 minus x squared plus 2x squared dx which equals pi um, minus x4 plus 4 minus 4x cubed plus 4x squared. We want to integrate this. Yes, Fahad? If you integrate. Yeah. No, if you complete the square. Complete the square? Oh. Here? Yeah. Now please, please don't say you get a different answer. Please, please don't say this. <laughs> because you know that that's not how it works in math. So what you mean to say is, I used complete the square, yes. and I got the wrong answer. Yes. You find where your mistake is. You got you got zero and two, did you? Yes. What what you get minus x? Sorry, that should be. Uh, X4 here. Yeah. Uh, okay, so when we expand, we get this, and now we can integrate. Okay. So we get pi x5 over 5 minus 4x4 four over 4 plus 4x cubed over 3, and we put in 2 and 0. Now, zero is not interesting because when I put in zero, what will I get? Zero. zero. So we just really need to put in the two. So I have pi 2, 4, 8, uh, 32 over 5, 2, 4, 8, 16, 64 over 4, which is 32 over 2, which is 16, and then 2, 4, 8, 8, 16, 32 over 3. So this will be pi. I should just use my calculator. Uh, pi, uh, let me see, that will be uh, 96 minus 180 over 15. Ah, no, I give up. Uh, so, calculator time. Yeah, indeed. Thirty two over five minus sixteen plus thirty two over three and we get a nice sixteen over fifteen pi. Now I'll double check that that's right. I might have made a mistake in the numbers. And the answer is correct. What's wrong, Fahad? I was asking him how I got from the Oh my goodness, this is semester one stuff. No, I did the right thing. Ah, I'll show you. Watch. Watch <laughs> and learn. Right, you have this equal to zero, yes? Yes. 
Right. Firstly, multiply everything by a minus because you need to have an x squared in the front. Because you can't complete the square when there's a number here. Yeah. In this case, minus 1. So that would be x minus half of this number yeah. squared. Yeah. And then it's minus the number at the back, which in this case is 0. There is no number. Yeah. Minus this number minus squared. Something. Minus 1 equals yeah. 0. Yeah, I got this. Yeah, so we have x minus 1 squared equals 1. So you have x minus 1 equals plus or minus 1. So you have x equals 1 plus or minus 1. So you have x equals 2 or 0. <laughs> yeah. Where was I your mistake? I stopped there. You stopped where? Uh, here. No, the middle one. You stopped here. Yeah. Why did you stop here? Because you can, you know, you can see it's minus 1 or minus 1. Did you say x was plus or minus 1? Yeah. I'm embarrassed for you. Embarrassed. I don't know how I could ever show my face again in class. Right, uh, next. Now, uh, let me give you another one, one more to practice. What was the answer? 16 over 16? Yeah. Alright, so uh, try this one for me. <coughs> oh, that's, it's supposed to be a semicircle. Ah, oh, you know what a semicircle looks like. close enough. Yeah. Right, uh, so here uh, fx equals square root 1 minus x squared. I rotate this graph and I get a sphere, a perfect sphere of radius, I won't tell you. So give me the volume here. First step is to get the roots. All right, let's have a look at this. So what are the roots here, firstly? Minus one. What are they? Say again, yeah? Minus one. One. <coughs> one and minus two. One and minus one? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm sure? You're correct. You have redeemed yourself. So here, the roots are when the function equals zero, which means one minus x squared equals zero, which means one equals x squared, which means x must be plus or minus one. So the roots are plus or minus 1. Mm -hmm. So this is a minus 1 and this is a 1. Okay. So the volume is pi integrate. So what's the radius of this sphere, by the way? Mm -hmm. 1. So from physics, what's the volume of a sphere? 1 over no? 4. 4 over 3. 3. 5 r cubed. Yeah, well it doesn't matter because the r is 1, so what's the volume of a unit sphere? 
far over tray pi. Mm. So this is the answer we should get. Right. So we have our function squared dx from minus 1 to 1. That's nice because the square root and the square cancel. Happy days. This integration is easy peasy. What do we get when we integrate? How do you get up the get rid of the root? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> together. Oh. Uh, uh. All right. We got this? Yeah. So when I integrate, what do I get? X. X. 3 x cubed. No. Oh, one, one over two. Come on, what do we get? X, x cubed over 3. Minus x cubed over 3 minus 1 to 1. So let's put the 1 in first. We've got, we've got 1 minus 1 over 3, which is? One basic elementary school math. Thank you, 2 over 3. And then we'll put the minus 1 in. 1 minus minus 1 over 3. That's 1 plus 1 over 3, which is? Thank you, KJ. I can see at least one person went to elementary school. Uh, so here I have uh, uh, 2 pi over 3. Uh, no, my bad. This last one wasn't that. No, I said 1 plus 1 over 3. It's not that. Look, look. We put in, look, KJ. We put in minus 1 here. So it should have been minus 1, minus, minus 1 over 3. So minus 1, minus, minus 1 over 3 oh, is minus, minus one, 1 plus 1 over 3, which is minus, minus two, 2 over 3. Minus 2 over 3. So when you put these together, you get 4 over 3 pi. Yeah. But that's what you taught. Yes. Now, just to finish, um, can I go down, Cora? Yes. Yeah. Fahad. That's the second, uh, no, third time I saw you using the phone in this class. You are now on a Cora warning. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, hang on, you're not far behind career warning either, okay? Uh, all right, so just to say, this formula works when you rotate around the x-axis. We go this way. Uh, what about if I had a shape and I rotate it around the y-axis? The course of formula is different. This is not on the exam, but I just want to show you what the formula is. Uh, so imagine that it's going from A on the y-axis to B on the y-axis. The formula for volume, well, we have a pi still, yeah. and it's still an A over B, and it's still a dx, but it's not fx here. Does anyone want to have a guess of what they think it might be? Inverse. What type of inverse? Inverse we did recently, or 1 over x, x inverse? <laughs> when you say one. inverse, what do you mean? A good inverse. <laughs> <laughs> commit, commit, which is this? Uh, Let's go ahead. The one we did just now. The uh, recent one. Yes. You are right. <laughs> so if you use the inverse function squared, you can do the volume this way. And remember, we did a lesson on how to find the inverse function. So if you find the inverse function and then square it, you can get the volume rotated around the y-axis. This is not an exam question. They will only ever ask you to rotate it around the x-axis. Okay? Um, somebody tell them, please. Mm -hmm. Because I could see you weren't listening to me because you were looking off into the distance. So this is rotated around the y-axis. Right. And they don't, they would never ask about y. Yes, only x. That's why I wasn't listening. Can you say? Do we have class later today? Yeah. Yeah.
No, class. no, we did it yesterday, and then we don't have class on Thursday, mm -hmm. so I'll see you on Friday. Yeah. Can you come to your office now to take the... Lesson? No, no. I need a break now. You can come uh, tomorrow on Friday and collect your report. After I talk to you about what you can do to improve it. Because if I just give it to you now, you will leave it on the bus or do something silly like this <laughs> and forget about it. At least if I talk to you, you have a chance of remembering something. Thank you. Yes. Yes. All right. What class you got next? Sleep time, is it?